Hi, it's Andy Bush, economist and moving my clients from chaos to confidence to make better decisions for their businesses. And I'm out walking around in the snow and just outside of Chicago. It's a little cold today, about 27 degrees. But I've been thinking about what a crazy year 2019 was for the economy. If you think about it, we started 2019 with the U.S. government shut down. We had a full-blown trade war going on between the U.S. and China. And we had the U.S. stock market down nearly 20% from its peak. Today, the U.S. government is open and a budget agreement has been made to ensure it stays open until 2021. We have the U.S. China, uh, U.S. and China likely to sign a trade agreement next week and trade tariffs are being reduced. And we'll likely also have the USMCA passed by the Senate in January after the impeachment trial of President Trump. And the U.S. stock market has been setting all time highs. Now, that is a huge shift. If you think about it, the S&P 500 had a 40% swing from September of 2018 just to March of 2019, and really, it hasn't looked back since. And we're ending the year almost the exact opposite of last year. Think about it. We have totally reduced down uncertainty of a recession. We've reduced down uncertainty of a trade war and an impeachment. Unemployment, it, it's very low and wages are rising to the lowest uh, income earners, and that's faster than the higher income earners, and that's really good news. The S&P 500 is on track to be up 28% for the year. Really, it's best year since 2013, and that's great news for everyone with a 401k or an IRA or any kind of stock holdings from work or personal investing. Uh, interest rates have been cut three times in 2019, and they're at their lowest levels in years, which definitely helps anyone borrowing a home, a car, or anything else. Look, 2019 started out as a bear, but boy, did it end up as a bull. And wow, do we have challenges for 2020. Economic, political, and technological challenges are all facing us and laughing at us right now, but these will have to wait until tomorrow, as I want everyone to enjoy tonight, but not too much. Tomorrow, we'll talk about the problems. I'm Andy Bush, economist, wishing everyone a safe and happy New Year's.